Hello, and welcome to an exemplar walkthrough of Paper 1, Question 5. It's descriptive writing, using an image as a stimulus. There are 24 marks available for content, and 16 marks available for technical accuracy. As you can see, we've got an image here. It's a very typical image uh, for this type of exam task, and we're going to look at the example that I've written and the way I've responded to the image. So as you can see I've got the criteria that the examiner will use to mark your work. Uh, I've got the criteria for the content and organization of the writing on the top left here um, and this is a, a band 3 level so a good level sort of a grade 5 or 6 here is what we're, we're looking at and on the bottom left I've got the criteria for technical accuracy so things like our spelling, punctuation and grammar and I'm going to show you how I've achieved each of those points in the piece of writing that I'm going to show you. As the piece of writing starts um, I wanted the tone to be very calm so I've got lots of long sentences which give that impression of tranquility, the long drawn out sentences um, slow us down on board the train, the muted rhythmic clunks clatter just below the other noises of the rail car. But towards the bottom I want the tone to change and the pace of the writing to change so I've used short snappy punchy sentences clackety clunk clackety clunk. As you can see there I've used onomatopoeia to show us the noises that the train might make. I've also got more subtle examples of onomatopoeia in the earlier part of the text, such as the muted rhythmic clunks clatter just below the other noises of the rail car. So now I've tried to increase the pace of my writing by making my sentences shorter. The iron horse metallically clanks along the girded track. And I've also kept this paragraph very short to further increase the pace and to emphasize the change of tone that I've wanted to include in my piece of writing here. This next paragraph here is where I've really tried to make the writing very dramatic and it's the climax of my piece of descriptive writing. So I've really tried to use lots of impress impressive vocabulary and some sophisticated language techniques. So I've used a simile to compare the rain falling on the train and I've said it's like countless soldiers landing at their battleground to increase the tension and give the impression that the weather is not friendly. I've also used a metaphor where I've described the storm as ghostly so as to compare it to something supernatural. And then this final paragraph where I'm focused on the storm I really wanted to give one final strong impression of it so I've talked about um, the mighty gout of frosted wave coming towards the train and it's another short paragraph which ends in another short sentence but the train is not there and this denotes another change of pace and another change of tone for the final part of the text. So in this third and final part of the piece of writing I wanted the tone to return to being peaceful again um, so I've shifted focus back onto the train floating peacefully along and I wanted the sounds of the words that I used to be a lot softer than the harsh noises of the pre previous section so I've chosen words like floats and judderings so as you can see I've really tried to go all out with the techniques and the variety of things that I've done to try and impress the examiner I've varied my sentence lengths I've used ambitious vocabulary where I can. I've used techniques like onomatopoeia, similes and metaphors. And I've also structured the piece of writing. So it's got a clear beginning, middle and end. And the pace changes in those three different parts and the tone changes in those three different parts to make it feel like a cohesive whole as a piece of writing. So let's turn to the criteria and see how I've met each of these, each of these bullet points in the criteria. The register that I've used is consistently matched to the audience and it's consistent throughout. The way the language sounds throughout sounds like it's written by the same writer all the way through. I've constantly tried to achieve my purpose, which is to write a piece of descriptive writing. At no point am I doing, doing anything other than 
describing the scene that I've got in the image. And I've tried to use sophisticated vocabulary and phrasings uh, and successful linguistic devices. I've definitely tried to organize this piece of writing so that it's got effective use of structural features. It's got three main parts to the writing, as I've pointed out, and I try to make it clear to the reader that the tone and the pace is about to change at different points through use of structural features, such as short paragraphs and sentences. If we look at the te technical accuracy criteria, I've used a range of punctuation. For example, I've got brackets and semicolons, which are irregular pieces of punctuation. Uh, and I've tried to use them not just to squeeze them in randomly, but I've tried to use them for effect as well. I've got a variety of sentence forms and the spelling, punctuation and grammar is accurate throughout. So thanks very much for watching and I hope this has given you some really good guidance on how to write an effective piece of descriptive writing. Good luck!